60 seconds. What's your screw? All right, guys, it's Tuesday. We're in the neighborhood of my, one of my, seriously, my favorite little breakfast joints. Even though it's two o'clock, I, I could eat breakfast any time of the day. I'm a huge breakfast guy. Um, National Coney Island. This is technically Royal Oak. Royal Oak, I would say. So we're gonna grab a quick meal. Kenny's birthday's tomorrow. We're gonna do kind of a miniature birthday brunch today. Then we're gonna do uh, tomorrow, we're gonna do a birthday dinner. Thursday, I think we're gonna do a bir birthday lunch. We're doing, it's gonna be a, like a week of celebration. I love that. All right, let's go eat. Kenny, this place has a real eclectic feel to it. Yeah, eclectic is a good word. I've never played that Fallout game, but it kind of reminds me of that Fallout-like-esque. So this is why I love this place. Lori, who's always our server, she's the best. Um, it's a table for two, and she goes, are you sure you don't want your spot? Because we always sit at this table. So she let us have a table for five, and there's only two of us. And this, this place, this is the little things that make the big difference. The wait staff is so good here. You feel like you're at a diner that's been in the same family for 50 years, and it could be. We don't know if it's not, but that's what you feel like. I get the egg? I'm gonna do the big breakfast. Can I get those eggs sunny side up? I don't want the hash browns. Give me, what are the options instead of hash browns? I'll get the tomato slices. I will do the crispy chicken and bacon salad, please. It's the same thing every time I come here. Simple guy. <laughs> Little tip, if you don't want the hash browns, tomato slices. Bye. We're gonna quit pit stop at Staples. We need to get some boxes to ship stuff out with. I'm going to the dollar store. Kenny's going to Staples. I'm going to the Dollar Tree. To see if there's anything worth getting. Hmm. Lots of party supplies. All right, these are perfect for Beersby. Thank you. Can you put like... All right, I no, think have I'm good. A good one. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, boys and girls, time for a two-part series that I hope to never have to do again. Um, safety tips. Number one, last night I was, and I people have asked me, they saw me today and asked, um, and people probably ask tomorrow if they see it in today's vlog, so I'm just gonna disclaim and cover this right now. This, I, oh my God. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's a really red line going up my arm. Kind of looks like a rash. Yeah, right there. Anyway, last night um, I was hungry, so I decided to boil some water so I could uh, do some ramen noodles, classic go-to dish. Took the boiling water, poured it out of the pot and into a bowl, and then um, put the soup mix in there. And then I picked it up and it started to slip because the bowl was wet. Tip number one, if you have a bowl of boiling hot water and you're going to drop it, don't try and catch it. Uh, my reflex was just to try and grab it. So I reached for it and it spilled all up my arm. It still hurts terribly bad. I, I don't know. I put it under cold water for a while and put some you know, sport on it, but yeah. Don't try and catch a boiling hot bowl of water noodles. All right, time for tip number two. This is more of a hack. I don't know if you can see, but right there, like split the very tip of my finger open, um, pulling a beer tab off. Because when everyone's drinking beer, if you pull your beer tab off, everybody knows, okay, that's that's his beer that's off. Uh, well, I cut my finger a little bit, and it keeps getting split back open, and it hurts really bad, and like doing anything is just a pain. Like. Where'd you get that? And doing anything is a pain, like typing or washing my hands, it's anything, it's just a little irritating. It's like a really deep metal paper cut. So, little hack uh, from my grandpa Lindsay actually. I bought some super glue today and we're just gonna super glue it shut because it keeps opening. See what I did? <laughs> I do this and around the world, different cultures. You dessert before dinner. Oh, pleasant surprise. Never heard of that culture, but that is a culture I'd love to be a part of and maybe even visit that country. <laughs> Crazy glue, like I said, this is an old Grandpa Lindsay trick. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have to pee. I'm gonna pee before I get uh, glue on my hands. Don't want any accidents. <laughs> Oh, 
No. <laughs> Careful, Tyler. There you guys go. That's a, a little uh, hack for if you're ever in the field. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so since I've moved in, this has been my bathroom mirror. It's not a proper mirror. I need to go buy a real one. Home Depot, the Southfield location claims to have one in stock. We'll that find out. I used to be a mechanic. I'm sure, you kids have to check someone's oil. Grandpa Lindsay, now that we're talking about him, says to check your tire pressure and oil at the beginning of every month. Well, today's the 8th, and we haven't done it this month or <laughs> last month. And we are extremely low on oil, like I told Tyler. You, you have to take care of these sort of things. This. No radiator. If only losers need a funnel. If you're a real surgeon, you can do it without it. Drink up, girl. You need to get air in these tires, too, guy. Home Depot. Let's roll. Oh, I forgot to mention, Kenny also needs a screen for his windows. Oh, you forgot about me, huh? I did. Found it. Yeah. Oh All right, God. she's going to check us out. My yes. Caitlin. Caitlin nice Kenny. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, thanks for your help. Yep. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. I was really hoping the hot dog guy would be out here. Oh yeah, I'll show you buddy. It's black, it's the coffee. Hey, tie ball. I think we should try and race him. And now which coffee I get? Mission complete. Do you smell the rock is cooking? 